Hello, I'm Daniel Watrous, and in this video I'm going to show you what the checkout process using Authorize.net and a wishlist member website look like. To begin with, you need to make sure that you have Authorize.net installed and wishlist plugins installed. If you need help setting these up, all of the Authorize.net for WordPress videos are on the main Authorize.net for WordPress training site. And you'll notice that when you click down to Authorize.net for WordPress, you'll see a few YouTube videos that are embedded. Remember that you can click the full screen here, and all of the videos that I upload to YouTube are HD. So that means they have a lot of detail in them to help you make sure you get all the settings just right. So after these are set up and you have a membership level created, you'll recall that you have to come into Subscriptions and set up a subscription. And today what we're going to use is this uh, $1 subscription that I have set up uh, called it Career Builder. So you would create a Buy Now button somewhere on your site. And what that will do is it will redirect someone to the checkout page. And let me just show you what the checkout page looks like. Now while I'm testing, I open up a new incognito window so that none of the cookies are set. That way it won't think that I'm logged in. Instead, it'll let me check out like I was a new user. So at the checkout page, I go ahead and fill in all of the details that are necessary. And once I've filled those in, I click Complete Checkout. Now, I just want to point out, I've chosen a My Test username as the username, and My Test password as the desired password. You'll also notice that the password isn't required, because if it's left blank, one will be generated for the, for the person checking out. So click Complete Checkout. And if it's successful, they're forwarded along to the thank you page. Now let's go back and have a look at what happened on our wishlist member website. If we come and look in users, we'll see that the my test username user has been created. When we click into that user, we'll also see that they were added to the membership level associated with that subscription. And they were added just now. So we can see that that worked well. Everything in Wishlist now has been set up just right. So Wishlist has a new member. They've been added to that level, and they should have access to whatever you've added to that level. Now, if you've added expiration dates or other things specific to that membership level, those all apply. So Authorize.net doesn't do anything other than say, this user has paid and now needs a membership level. Now let's have a look at some of the emails that came through. So the first email that's sent out is sent from the Authorize.net for WordPress plugin. It says Transaction Summary for Authorize.net for WordPress. And one thing I'd like you to notice is that it just grabs that from whatever the name of the WordPress website is. It includes the transaction ID, and that'll be useful if they have questions for you about this transaction. It says your account has been created and or updated because they will receive an email if they make a purchase and add a new membership level and they're already an existing user. So the plugin will automatically keep track of whether they have an account or not and it may, rather than create an account, just update an existing account to have an additional membership level. And then it says log in using your username and password and it gives them, feeds back to them their username and password. Now, if they had left their password blank, then it would have generated for one for them. But where we provided one during checkout, it just passes that back through. And then it says you may log into your account for further details. And it gives them a link to the login page, which redirects back to the home page. So that's the first email. The next one is one that may come through if you have configured your Authorize.net account to send out an email. And this is the typical formatting for Authorize.net. It tells them their total. It tells them their details for checking out and so on. So those are the emails that come through. And now that user has full access to everything in your wishlist member website. Well, everything associated with that particular membership level. Thanks for watching.